But they, the day that they ate of that because of the sin that entered in, they began to die spiritually. Amen. They began to die spiritually. They, they began not only to experience physical death as they grew older, but they also began to die a spiritual death. He'd already breathed the breath of life into them. Bless him, Lord. The man became a living soul, but he said, now, if you do this, in other words, if you sin, mm. the Bible says the soul that sinneth it shall die. Amen. Plain and simple. The soul that sinneth it shall die. And so the death sentence or the death penalty was pronounced upon man because of sin that had entered into that garden. Amen. Or because of sin that had entered into the world. And God began to look down and he began to realize man needed some kind of redemption. Amen. Man needed a way that he could live forever. So he, he began to, to the uh, Bible said from the foundation of the world, began to, to formulate his plan for the redemption of man once again. Right. That somewhere down the road that man could, could come back into fellowship with God Amen. as he had in the beginning. In other words, man in the beginning was to live forever. Until sin entered in. Mm -hmm. So he wanted man to get back to that place that we can live forever. Praise God. The Bible begins to tell us we realize that sin had entered in, the death, sentence had, had came upon man. Man began to die when God wanted him to have life. Man began to die. There had to be something to take place. There had to be something that man could do. Amen. There had to be something that God could do to bring back man to this place that once again he would have life. We began to read, we know that Jesus was born, began to grow and began to start his ministry. As it wasn't long, he, he began to teach his disciples. Those that began to follow, he began to teach them and tell them some things. John 10 and 10, he began to say, The thief cometh not before to steal, to kill, and destroy. And that's exactly what Satan wants to do to you today. Amen. He wants to kill you. He wants to destroy you. But Jesus said, I'm come that they might have life. And that they might have it more abundantly. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15 and 22. It says, For as in Adam all die. Amen. That sin nature. That sin nature. The soul that sinneth it shall die. Praise God. Praise God. It says, For as in Adam all die. Even so in Christ shall all die be made alive. Ephesians 2 and 1 says this, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Or you hath he made alive Amen. who were dead in trespasses and sin. Yes. Jesus said, Unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no life in you. Whether we want to admit it or not, whether we realize it or not, without Jesus, we're walking around dead. That's right. Yes, you have no. Amen. Without Jesus, you have no life. Yes. Right. Somebody said, have you ever looked at a person and say they ought to get a life? Uh -huh. <laughs> we do. No, they ought to get a life. Amen. Why do they need to get alive? They're walking around dead. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, there's no life outside of Jesus? That's right. He said it himself, unless you drink of my blood and eat of my flesh, you have no life in you. Amen. We're just a bunch of zombies. That's right. Without Jesus. We're just a bunch of zombies without Jesus. Yes, sir. 
Walk around here think we're living it up and all the time we're dead. The world thinks it's living it up and all the time they're dead. Jesus came to pay the price. He came to pay the price of death. Amen. And he did. Yes, he did. Took on the sins of the world. Went to Calvary. Went to that cross. And he died for you and I. He died for our sins. He died that we might have life. That's right. And have it more abundantly. But he left something for us to do. He told that there was something. You see, when 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 we're first born in the natural, we take that first breath, the breath that when Jesus, when, when God breathed into the nostrils of man that He created, man became a living soul. Amen. But because of the sin of man, there's something else that has to take place. Jesus told us to Nicodemus, He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you must be born again of the water and the Spirit. Yes. Why born again? Because the old man, yes. the Adamic nature, Amen. had the death sentence pronounced upon it. And the only way that I can avoid that death sentence is I've got to be born again. I've got to become Amen. a new creature. So I've got to be born again of the water and of the Spirit. That's right. Praise God. You know what? You know what Spirit means when you look at the translation of Spirit from 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 the Hebrew. It means breath. Mm -hmm. It means life. Translated two hundred and twenty six times from a word, a Hebrew word. Uh, like if I pronounce it right, uh, Ruwa, which means breath, wind, life. Thank God. Breath, <laughs> wind, he breathed the man of nostrils, the breath of life. Yes, he did. But man sinned. Man messed up. Man had to change. So he had to be born again. Of the water and of the spirit. The spirit. What's that spirit? Breath. Life. Wind. Praise God. Here's something else. You know what ghost means? Here's from a word by the name uh, that, that's pronounced. Nephish, if I'm pronouncing it right. You know what it means? Life. Amen. Breath. Soul. Wind. Spirit. Nicodemus, you must be born again yes, sir. of the water and of the Spirit to enter the kingdom of God. Praise God. Praise God. The thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. You said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Praise God. <laughs> Job 33 and 4. Job said this. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Right. Ezekiel chapter 37. Most of you know the story of the dry bones. Ezekiel 37 and 4. Ezekiel had walked out. God showed him a, a valley of dry bones and asked him the question, Son of, man, son of man, can these bones live? And he said, Lord, you know. Amen. And he said, well, prophesy to them. Ezekiel 37 and 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. Dry bones. Dead people. Dead people. Without Jesus, you're dead. Dead people. Hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Amen. I will lay some news upon you, and will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. 
So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. I want you to know, the word of, word of God's going forth. He said, Amen. he said, tell these dry bones, tell these dead people to hear the word of the Lord. And as he began to prophesy, the, the bones began to come together. Amen. Flesh began to come upon those bones. In other words, they were getting their life straight. <laughs> Praise God. So, so I prophesied as I was committed, and as I prophesied, there was a great noise. The whole was shaking, and the bones came together. Bone to his bones. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Mm -hmm. I notice. <clears throat> if he had got that far and stopped, right, they'd still been dead. Right. They'd heard the word of the God. They'd begin mm -hmm. to get things together. But if they'd have stopped there, they would have still been dead. Right. Why? Because there was no breath in them. Amen. In other words, there was no life in them. No. There was no life in them. Praise God. Praise God. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Or what? The spirit. The spirit. Nephesh. Nephesh, life, breath, soul, wind. Yeah. Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind. Amen. Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds. What? O oh, breath. Come from the four winds, O oh, breath. And breathe upon these slain that they may live. Breathe upon these sinners. When God breathes on me. Amen. Breathe upon yes. these slain. That they may live. Oh, I'm glad one day God breathed on me. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Breathe on these slain. Yes. That they may live. You know what? You know what the trouble with a lot of people is? They haven't let God breathe on them yet. Amen. It's the Spirit that brings life. Amen. They heard the Word. They yes. know the Word. Praise God. Breathe on them that they be slain that they may live. So I prophesied as He commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived. Breath Amen. came into them. And they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. They heard the word, but there was no life in them mm. until he breathed on them. Yes. They heard the word, but there was no life in them until he breathed on them. Praise God. Praise God. Second Corinthians 3 and 6, Paul wrote this, we also, who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth. If it was just the Word. If it was just the Word. If I was, that's the reason, that's the reason uh, the Old Testament, the law didn't work. The letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Yes. The Spirit, the Word, without the Spirit, the faith, my Lord, come on. The Word without the Spirit. He said, the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. And God breathes on that. Look at John 20 and 22. 
And when he had said this, he breathed their lips. Amen. And saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Yes. yes. He breathed on them. Mm -hmm. When he first created man, God breathed into the nostrils of man. The Bible says the breath of life. Yes. And man became a living soul. But Amen. sin entered in. Day that you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you'll die. Sin entered in. Death entered in. So he said, well, okay. You messed up this time. So you must be born again. Amen. You must be born again of the water and of the Spirit. you got to be born again. you got to be born again if you want some life. If you want some eternal life, you got to be born again. Amen. If you want a spiritual life, you got to be born again. Yes. If you want to get rid of that old Adam nature, you got to be born again. Amen. If you want to experience life to the fullest, you must be born again. Amen. Praise God. So he, so he breathed on. Them. Yes, thank you. He said, "Receive ye the Holy Ghost." What's, what's the Holy Ghost? Well, ghost, life, breath, soul, <laughs> wind, spirit. Yes. The breath of life. Amen. The breath of life. The breath of life. <laughs> Acts 2 and 1. <clears throat> when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all of one accord in one place. So that there came a sound from heaven. As of a rushing mighty wind. What was it? It was the breath of God. Mm -hmm. And he was breathing life. Amen. I said it was the breath of God. And he was breathing life. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. There appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire that set upon each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit. What's the spirit? Breath. Life. Wind. Breath. Life. Wind. As the spirit gave them utterance. The breath of life. When God breathed on me. When God breathed on me. I'm glad one day God breathed on me. When God breathes on me, there's life. Amen. Yes, thank you, Jesus. When God breathes on me, there's healing. When God breathes on me, there's cleansing power. And I'm never more alive than when I feel the Spirit of God in that room begin to flow and God begin yes. to breathe life. Amen. Once again into us. I'm going to tell you, you'll never be more alive than when you let God breathe on you. You'll never experience life to the fullest until you let God breathe That's on you. That's right. That's right. You'll never know what He meant about abundant life until you let God breathe Amen. on you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. He breathed into the nostrils of man the breath of life. Yes. And man became a living soul. Thank God. You want to live again? I said, you want to live again? Let God breathe on you. Amen. The breath of life. Eternal life. Eternal life. Amen. Praise God. Let's all stand.